Jack. Inspired by Incredibles 2. This is Jack-Jack. He's a baby just like any other. Except his family has superpowers. His dad can lift super heavy things. His mom can stretch super long. His sister can make super force fields. And his brother can run super fast. Together, they're the Incredibles. Jack-Jack doesn't have powers. Or does he? One night, Mr. Incredible put Jack-Jack to bed. He read him a story. In the country of Nodoff, the Frubbers of Freep are all giving in to the sweet sucker of sleep. Closed went the book, out went the light, and Jack-Jack went to sleep. Sweet dreams, Jack-Jack. Mr. Incredible tiptoed downstairs, but a little while later, he heard something strange. Jack-Jack was out of his crib. How did that happen? Back upstairs they went. Mr. Incredible read the story again. All over Dusseldorf, the frippers of Frupp are going to sleep because they just can't keep up. Closed went the book, out went the light, and Jack-Jack went to sleep once more. Sweet dreams, Jack-Jack. Mr. Incredible tiptoed downstairs. But what was this? Jack-Jack was on the sofa watching television. Back upstairs they went. Mr. Incredible read the story one more time. All over Dusseldorf, they're hitting the sack. Everyone's getting the sleep that they lack. Closed went the book, out went the light. And this time, Mr. Incredible made sure Jack-Jack couldn't escape from his crib. Sweet dreams, Jack-Jack. Mr. Incredible tiptoed downstairs. He held his breath. He turned the corner, and there was Jack-Jack, watching television, again. Oh, well, if Mr. Incredible couldn't keep Jack-Jack in his crib, they might as well watch television together. They snuggled up on the sofa. Soon, Mr. Incredible was fast asleep. Jack-Jack was not asleep. He was watching a movie about a masked criminal robbing a jewelry store. Suddenly, Jack-Jack heard a noise. A raccoon was rummaging through the trash can outside. Jack-Jack looked at the masked robber on the television. He looked at the raccoon. He knew what he had to do. Jack-Jack headed to the door and passed right through. He threw the garbage back into the trash can and closed the lid. With just a look, Jack-Jack was going to stop that raccoon robber. He fended off the raccoon. The raccoon fought back. Then Jack-Jack got all fired up. Now the raccoon was angry. He put out Jack-Jack's fire. The raccoon was certain he'd gotten away with his evil plan to raid the trash. But he was wrong. Meanwhile, all the noise had woken up Mr. Incredible. He came out just in time to see Jack-Jack multiply into a bunch of little Jack-Jacks. The raccoon was surrounded. That was finally enough to scare the sneaky bandit away. Mr. Incredible scooped up all the Jack-Jacks. They combined back into one sweet little baby. Jack-Jack, did you go through a locked door? Mr. Incredible asked in amazement. And you multiplied? You have powers. Ah, yeah! He rubbed noses with Jack-Jack. You're super baby.
Then Mr. Incredible stopped smiling. You're a super baby who can multiply like rabbits and pass through any solid surface. Oh, no. What are we going to tell Mommy? Jack-Jack giggled. Let's wait until morning. Sweet dreams, Jack-Jack. 